Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh... <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You've three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. Only way forward.
weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. There's gotta be another way in there. Chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's- Contact! Joyce is here! Swapping the-
This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. Okay. Looks like that elevator needs power. Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks? Paul's at the dry docks? Then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. They both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through.
thought was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. We could undo what we've done, sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Please. I didn't do anything. I just... It ain't fair, right? So you... Listen. From the protest, what do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Marek was doing something, but this is completely fucked up. <sighs> Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. Uh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That can be fixed. I think you need to get to this side of the gate somehow. Jack, you need to get to this side somehow. I'm not going anywhere until you're on this side of the gate.
my god. You're just... You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. Time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken. I, I don't know. Time is ending. Monarch has something to do with it. Get me to the dry docks and I'll find out why. We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. So Paul founded Monarch. Need to get up to that open window. Window, Jack. All right, that's it. Jack, the window.
Is that another one of those rewind things? to get to that door. Finally. Good work. I need... Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for it, Clarice. I'm gonna use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. I've got footage of Burke taken out of Garden A1. Back a Monarch truck was left open. Now I'm checking cameras in A3 and guards are either sleeping on the job or, you know, not sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Catch my drift? <laughs> With a trajectory so towards chicken over some expensive ass thing. I know. Look, I'm gonna keep looking for him. Just There's nothing you could have done. Okay? Over and yeah, over and out. Yeah, I'm not going to help you figure out a lot. Jack, we should take a look at the map. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah. You too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Asta! Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds.
still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Looks like a way out. 
Now, how do I get it open? Just took out Gatehouse Squad and you still don't have eyes on him? What do they pay you for over there, huh? Charlie, just tell me where he is. Do I hear please? Charlie? Warehouse B4? Better hurry. Storehouse 1. You heard him? Move in. On our way. Turn off security.
Jack? Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? The CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure. But it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? All levels are lowered to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sofia Amaral. There he is! In the past six years, one of the things that Exit down here. May have to head upward. <clears throat> There's got to be something I can use to get up there.
fracture is Sophia escalating Emerald. more rapidly than Mr. Serena had anticipated. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Hormone levels will lower to a point that renders the zero the same stuff obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sophia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances in the area of Myers-Joyce <gasps> particles, better known as chronon particles. On July 4, 2010, unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area we now refer to as Ground Zero. <laughs> this resulted in extremely dense emissions of particles, creating the perfect conditions for extraction which led to the chronon harvesting operation you see today. All of Monarch's chronon technologies are most notable the Chronon Field Regulator, or CFR, which is the organization and regulation of When the time is right, the entire supply of chronon containers will be transported Your average elevator. Unique temporal anomaly Jack, I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight. Tonight. After everything that's happened. It has something to do with their future plans. Serene is delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? Many I don't know. Entered ground zero I'm gonna find out. Have never returned. We know that the fracture will occur on October 8, 2016. We hypothesize that from this point forward, chronon levels in ground zero will slowly decrease until time and Okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Okay. Okay. Looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy. I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Gotta be another way to get through here. Jesus! Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Can't yeah, take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Open fire! Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was the center of water.
Engaging zone. Engaging target. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Got the word. Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. Striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter. <laughs>
Nice driving, guys. that part of his life for me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. this I 
specifically requested copper-clad Niobium. Well... to describe. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. It's surrounding me. A puzzle. Trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research brain, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. <laughs> Need my, Need my grant, grant extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do don't this. Do this. Something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There was something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful.
Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No!
Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did. <laughs>
She was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music.
What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Modern doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck, too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Can you find a way in, Jack? We shouldn't stay out here. <laughs> There's no way in over here. Hey, I think I found a way in. Well, what have we got here? Stutters aren't going away. <laughs> Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... He's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Come on, Will. What did you okay, want me to find? Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. 
It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Twelve thousand dollar moving bill. He must have hauled a lot okay, more of this place so, than just yeah, some old boxes. Turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for five minutes, took a shit on the tube. You owned this place since 1999. Why didn't you tell me? This? Okay, the machine is warming up again. Should be able to activate test number two in a round of No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past, which means that he will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the other... We need to we keep need our to keep contact, contact limited from this point forward. forward. I'll find I'll you find when the countermeasures complete. complete. Shit, it worked. This... This is clear proof that it's... Uh, well... What, what the hell are you doing here, brother? The same mouse Time travel experiments with rats? Five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, me, future you. Ow, that fucker beat me. We need to we keep need our to contact, contact limited from this point forward. forward. I'll find I'll you when the countermeasures can complete. complete. Working on it. Hey, Jack, you gonna unlock this door for us? Yeah, just hold on. July 4th, 2010. The hell is this? Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. The entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, shut down. Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. The video made it clear that he'd been working with Beth in the past. Made me wonder what else she was hiding.
All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. I already did. Now how about you tell me how you know Will? I've never met your brother. I find that hard to believe, considering the video I just watched. What are you talking about, Jack? See for yourself. It's in the next room. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was he talking about? He recorded that for me in 2010? the fuck? And he said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> <sighs> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. <gasps> A second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. <clears throat> Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped him. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle, I think. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Okay. Gotta figure out where to start. Where are the core controls? Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. Need to find a way to reset the core first.
Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leads us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. Here goes nothing. There's a light blinking here. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. This is gonna work. It has to. You guys aren't actually planning to use this machine, are you? So, I guess you're not at all concerned that one guy jerry-rigged this entire thing together? No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. Monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no.
The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bo. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? Without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. 
Yeah. leads I've been to the end of time and I've escaped it all the way to 1999 when it all started I've tried to change things but by trying I only made them happen in the first place